The people we read about in the Bible are not just made up characters. They are real people. And Peter was just an ordinary man. I'm going to tell you some facts about his everyday life and I want you to try and guess what his job was. You see, Peter would spend many long hours in the hot, hot sun, but he was on the Sea of Galilee, which is a freshwater sea, which meant he could cool down some splashes of water. And when he would come home after a long day of work, he would smell of stinky fish. Pew! Can you guess what kind of job he did? You're right, he was a fisherman. He would sail out on big wooden boats and he would cast out nets to try and catch some fish. Nowadays, we also have fish. If you've ever eaten a fish, it was probably bought from a fisherman. So now I'm going to tell you a story from Peter's life in Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Peter and Andrew went out to go fishing on the Sea of Galilee. They took their nets and they cast it into the Sea of Galilee to try to catch some fish. But they caught nothing. If you were Peter and Andrew, what would you do? Well, we would probably try again. And that's exactly what they did. They tried again. And they caught nothing. Okay. And so they went again. And again. And again. And they caught nothing. And so after a long day, they finally gave up and went home. And so as Peter was going to go clean his nets, he saw a large crowd of people following a man named Jesus. And Jesus asked Peter if he could use his boat on the Sea of Galilee so that the crowd could see and hear him better. If you were Peter, what would you have said? Well, Peter said yes, and Jesus continued to teach the crowd on the boat. When Jesus was done teaching, he asked Peter to go out to the deeper area of water and try fish again. Now, Peter is very good at his job, and he spent the whole day trying to fish and caught nothing. If you were Peter, what would you have said? Well, Peter said, Master, we worked all night and all day and we caught nothing. But you know what? He decided to try again. So he cast his net into the Sea of Galilee and he tried one more time. And he caught so many fish that he needed two boats and so many more people to try help him to get all these fish. Jesus said that he's not only going to make him a normal fisher, but rather teach him how to go fishing for people. This means that Peter was going to learn how to draw people closer to Jesus. If Jesus asked you that question today, if Jesus said, follow me, would you leave everything to follow him? Well, Peter did. Peter left everything he had behind to follow Jesus and to fish for people. Jesus is asking you the same question today. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm so stinky and sweet, all that fishing. But Jesus called me just as I am. And that's the reason to love Jesus, because he calls us just as we are. I'm going to go follow Jesus 